I'll never play her again, and she was so much fun, and just like, I'm gonna miss everyone. Spoiler alert, Power Book 2's fourth and final season Ghost is everyone's endgame, but what does it really mean? Is graduation from college imminent? Is family more important than wealth? Has the meaning of loyalty undergone revision? The most important question, though, is whether or not those who wish to will survive the game, and if they do, will they be around to lead worry-free lives? Along with a few character-specific remaining questions, Movie Spy will address some of these questions with the people who know the cast the best the cast members themselves with every new episode. We chatted with Alex Lapry, who plays Effie Morales, about her love triangle, its parallels to power, and what she believes to be Effie's ultimate aim as we analyze the drama of the first two episodes of this season. I think it's kind of surprising to her that someone is willing to help with no strings attached. Like, I'm not helping because I want something from you. Welcome to Movie Spy. Effie is a really nuanced person. Although she has a tender spot and is clever and cunning, people either love to hate her or hate to adore her. Do you think she'll pick one of the three people in her complex love triangle case, Tarek, or herself, or will she ultimately go with her gut? Alex Lapry, since she hasn't actually chosen herself, I sincerely hope that she does. We will have to wait and see to find out which side she ultimately chooses. I feel like she gets to pick in some of these instances. She ultimately finds herself somewhere she doesn't really want to be. Thus, I believe the word complex is excellent, but we'll see. What progress do you think she's made from power to ghost? She seems to have gained a great deal of confidence in herself and her decisions, in my opinion. She is occupying space and asserting her authority. I adore it about her so much she speaks her mind and doesn't let someone walk all over her. I genuinely adore the idea that even if you let someone in and they disappoint you, you are still a good person for choosing to connect with others, be a nice person, and open up. Even though things don't always work out for you, you're still a kind person. What do you believe Effie's ultimate goals are at this point in the season? School is always the focus. Her ultimate goal is to attend school. Her ultimate objective is to leave the game. Many characters in the power universe, as far as I'm aware, say that. But they also say things like, but I'm in love with this. I have to go a bit farther. I'm unable to. And she's nothing like that, not even close to it. She's ready to go. I simply believe that she is stuck at this moment, which is a terrifying place to be and really regrettable. But she must do what she must do in the short term to get herself out of this situation. Do you think that by pursuing this guy or the money, she sort of set herself up for this? Yes, she did everything. She has enormous intelligence, but she chose not to use it, in my opinion. She has never truly been in it. Therefore, I don't think any males find her to stay in. She will sell someone's head to the highest bidder, even though she likes people. She may have chosen to stay in, in my opinion, but in the end, love is what she wants. Her eyes brightened when Tarek said to her, oh, no, we can get out of life together and then go on to have a normal life. She has always desired it but if she needs to leave on her own, she needs to leave alone. She cherished their time together in Italy. It felt normal for once, like you stated. Do you believe that Effie is capable of obtaining wealth, power, education, and love? No. She could, in my opinion, but not in the manner in which she is now acting. If she wants it all, she has to make a shift in her ways. She has everything at her disposal, so we'll have to see if she's wise enough to do that. But right now she's making some snap decisions. Especially after she turned down Kane during her Stanford interview. She consistently puts the interests and desires desires of men before her own. When you play this character, do you experience an internal tug of war? Indeed, in a way. I would talk about that with the showrunners and writers. Is she getting to the point where she is obsessed with boys? I've never seen that for her, so if we're going to do that, there ought to be a good reason for it. Since that is not me, I've certainly been very conflicted about it. I will trust you if you are not exhibiting positive indicators. I'm going to miss you. Do you believe Effie is Tarek's Tasha or Angela? Or is she just a separate person in his life if Tarek is anything like a ghost? She is more important than Angela, thus, she needs to be herself, right? I believe that Ghost and Angela were genuinely in love from the beginning, but there were moments when he wasn't quite ready to give her everything. In Tarek and Effie's case, I believe they felt exactly right. Their situation was incorrect, and it only served to bring out the worst in them both. However, she is also more familiar with Tarek than Tasha was with Ghost. Thus, I'm not sure if she fits in with either of them, which is something I've noticed a lot as well. I've noticed the comparisons in a lot of the talks, and, in my opinion, she's neither.